How can you use Wirecast Virtual Cam with StreamYard? I'll show you next on Brand on Broadcasting. Welcome to Brand on Broadcasting. I'm Ross Brand. We're talking about sharing video clips longer than 30 seconds in StreamYard. There's a couple of different ways to do it. One way is to do a screen share and drag the video clip into a Chrome browser tab. Make sure the audio is turned on in that tab, and then you can play the video as a screen share. But that method does have its weaknesses when it comes to transitioning to the clip, and you may also see parts of the Chrome browser showing up in the video. A cleaner, more professional way to share a video clip if you have the technology, is to use Wirecast Virtual Cam. You can add the video clip to a shot in Wirecast and then switch to that shot with the video when you are ready to play it. One thing to be aware of, though, is you won't hear the video clip while it's playing during the live show. Wirecast does provide a countdown, so you'll know when to switch your shot back from the recorded video to your live feed. You'll be sending the video clip and the audio from that video from Wirecast to StreamYard using the Wirecast virtual camera and Wirecast virtual microphone. Your own video and audio will be sent to StreamYard the same way. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's actually a lot easier than it just sounded. But first, let's look at how you would connect to StreamYard if you weren't using Wirecast virtual cam, because then it won't make sense why you would choose the settings you need to choose when using Wirecast virtual cam to connect your camera and audio, as well as to play the video clip. Okay, so I'm in my StreamYard dashboard, and I'm going to create a broadcast. In this case, uh, I'll create a broadcast uh, for one of my shows. I use Restream to distribute to uh, a variety of different social networks, from Facebook to YouTube, Periscope, Twitter, Twitch, and Mixer. Uh, and so what I'll do is I'll create a broadcast. In this case, I'm just going to set it as a test. Uh, and we'll say testing uh, setup and create broadcast. Okay, so when I go to enter the uh, StreamYard studio for this broadcast, uh, it'll give me uh, choices of my settings and I'll open it up. And it'll ask me for my camera, so I have my uh, webcam connected. It'll ask me for my resolution, uh, 720p. And then for my mic, in this case, uh, my audio is being sent in uh, by my mixer, by the MixPre 3. Uh, so I will choose the MixPre 3, uh, which is a mixer and audio interface. And that is also my speaker, because that's where... Uh, the audio comes back from the computer into the mixer, and then I have my headphones plugged in to listen to that. So that is my audio in, would be the uh, mic or the Mix Pre 3, which would also be the audio out, because that is what's sending the audio into my computer. So that's what I'm choosing as my mic and speaker. Uh, click Done. I'll enter the Broadcast Studio. Uh, and I have it set up for live stream deals. Uh, let me, uh, just for the sake of this, I'll go into branding and I'll switch it to uh, brand on broadcasting. I can add uh, myself there. Hey, everybody. Okay, so now I'm in the screen. And the next step would be I would do a screen share. Let's add a video by doing a screen share. And how I would do that is I click screen share. I would add a, a tab and pull it off uh, from uh, the window where I have uh, StreamYard, and then I'd go to Application Window, and I could add this tab here, and then drag the video into the browser, and now it starts playing in the browser. Who is a live streamer? Okay, and then I, when I stop, I could do that, and it switches back. So it's not bad, but as you could see, you see parts of the browser. You see me dragging, you might see me dragging the clip in, uh, or I've got to, uh, I, I, I've either got to start the video first and then quickly uh, a switch to uh, the screen share, or I've got to... Uh, uh, switch to the screen share and then you'll see me drag the clip in 
so it's not ideal, uh, but it works. It works well. Uh, but there's a better way if you have the technology. Let's take a look at how you would do this with Wirecast Virtual Cam. Uh, so I'm going to back out of the studio and I'm going to open up Wirecast. Okay, so I'm opening up Wirecast. Uh, I'm going to create an empty document. Uh, and, and here it is. Uh, Wirecast is open. Okay, so now that we have Wirecast open, uh, you have your preview window and you have your live window. And when you're using Wirecast Virtual Cam, whatever's showing in the live window will be going into StreamYard and then out to your broadcast, depending on how you're switching things in StreamYard. Uh, let's start with the basics. You want to add your audio. Uh, so that'll be your audio capture. In this case, my audio uh, comes through... Uh, my Mix Pre 3, which is my mixer. Uh, I will choose that as my audio source. And let's switch that right into the live mode. Uh, and then I will add my camera, which is the uh, uh, Logitech Pro Stream webcam. We'll add that. And now that's its own shot. So how you doing? And we've got that on. Uh, so now let me switch that. So now uh, my audio and video are live. So when I connect to connect to StreamYard, uh, that will be my audio and video source will go in that way. Uh, let's turn the audio on here. Uh, so now you see the audio is on on both uh, preview and it's on on uh, on the live. So you're, you're seeing the levels, but. But on the live, the audio is now live. If I wanted to shut it off temporarily, I could do that uh, rather than having to change anything in my mixer. I've got my video at 1280 by 720, so 720p. The next step when you're using uh, the Wirecast Virtual Cam to play a video clip is you actually add that video clip uh, as a media file uh, in, in a separate shot. So I go up where it says Browse disk, uh, click add, um, now scroll, uh, desktop. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. This is the clip I want to play. And there it is. Uh, I can go and take a look at settings. Again, I will scale it just slightly over. Let, let me make it just slightly over uh over a hundred percent so that again it, it, it the edges won't show up uh when i'm ready to play it i switch it there so you see it's a smoother switch into the live uh the live window uh and i'm just gonna go back okay so now you've got on the left you've got your preview on the right you've got what's live uh i'm selecting a smooth transition uh, and, and that way I can transition from the video, which is playing back to me, uh, and I can transition to the video when I'm ready to play the video. And it's a very smooth transition. Uh, the audio and the video should play nicely uh, within StreamYard. And I can, I can use this to set the video to where I want it to start to play, in this case from the beginning at zero. Okay, so how do I get what's live in Wirecast into StreamYard? So before we go into the broadcast studio, there's one other step to take. Uh, on a Mac, you would go to System Preferences, and you choose Sound. And then uh, for, your, for your input, you're going to choose Wirecast Virtual Microphone. And for my output, I'm listening through the Mix Pre 3, so that should be good there. Uh, and now I can go into the uh, StreamYard Broadcast Studio and I select my camera and microphone as we did before. But this time I'm selecting Wirecast Virtual Camera rather than my webcam uh, because I'm taking whatever was in that live window in Wirecast and taking that, in, that picture into StreamYard and I'm doing that via the Wirecast Virtual Cam resolution 720p for my speaker 
Uh, I'm going to choose Telestream Audio Capture Virtual uh, for my mic. It's not giving me that option. Um, hmm. Okay, here it is. So it says default, and uh, it says data source item zero virtual. So that's that's the Wirecast virtual cam as my mic. It took me a second to recognize that, uh, but that's what you're looking for. You're looking for virtual for both your mic and your speaker. I click done, and I enter the broadcast studio. Okay, so now I need to go back to uh, Wirecast, and I have to choose output. And there I'm going to, to choose virtual cam out. And it's go I'm going to match the canvas, which is what you see on the right window. And I've got virtual microphone selected. So all I do is I click start now. And I go back to my StreamYard studio. And now I can see uh, my video, which I'm adding to... Uh, StreamYard. So it's getting my video from that live window in Wirecast and it's taking it into StreamYard. So you see the window in, in Wirecast. That's what I'm putting into StreamYard instead of taking it from my webcam. Now, if I want to play a video clip, I just do the switching right in uh, Wirecast. So I'll show you how that, that looks. I've resized the windows just to so it makes sense. So what you're seeing in the live window in Wirecast is what you're going to see in the live window in StreamYard. I've got the video set up in the preview window. And so when I'm ready to play the video, all I have to do is click this transition button. I've got a smooth transition set up. I click that transition button and the video starts to play. And you have the audio and video playing in StreamYard. It's a very smooth, professional looking transition. Uh, you don't have to worry about sliding the video into uh, a Chrome browser tab. You don't have to see elements of the tab in the video uh, as it's playing. So it's a, just a very professional way to do that. When the video's done, uh, you just switch it back here again using this uh, transition button. And now I'm back live on uh, StreamYard again, and uh, from StreamYard, this is going to Restream, and then it's going out to all the different destinations if I were doing this live, and when I would go live, I would just click this Go Live button uh, here, and that would send it to Restream, and I'd have it set up at Restream to go out to the different destinations. But that's how you use Wirecast Virtual Cam uh, in order to do a broadcast like this. Uh, it's another way of playing a video clip. If you use OBS rather than Wirecast, it's the same concept. You set up your virtual cam, your virtual mic within OBS. Uh, you add your video clip within OBS. You transition from your camera to your video clip within OBS, getting the feeling that it's within OBS, just like within Wirecast. And then what's in the live window in OBS is what would show in the live window uh, in StreamYard. Make sense? Any questions? Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think of this method. Do you like it better uh, than going straight into StreamYard and playing a video clip with a screen share? This way you play the video clip in Wirecast and it's a very smooth transition and you still benefit from all the uh, different production and social elements of uh, StreamYard where you can add overlays, you can, you can share the comments, and uh, these, are, these are all outstanding elements to make a part of your broadcast. For Brand on Broadcasting, I'm Ross Brand. Enjoy live streaming with Wirecast and StreamYard, and have a great day, everybody.